you go cross country is in about a quarter of a mile. And then what I do is I do some dead reckoning to this general area. Gotta watch out for these guys right there. This is all virgin, virgin desert right now. No trail. desert actually comes alive at night. It's pretty amazing. Camp and cooking. Fajitas. Okay, we're almost ready. Ah, finished product. Let's roll this up and eat it up. Oh, man. Hmm. Here you go. You try one first. <laughs> Now I'm just uh, finishing breakfast, getting ready for a nice hike to camp here. All my food stashed. Probably nice temperature right now, 65 degrees. I'm in my cook kit and anything I need to hang. A little chair. No trails, of course, but uh, this is what you come across in Joshua Tree you come across these dead mylar balloons that follow the jet stream and get dumped off in here. We're walking along the California hiking and biking trail at the moment. That was my camp about 10 years ago. And this is how easy it is to get lost in the desert. Or if you didn't know the area, you would expect that if you traveled along that this little uh, route, you would get to your destination. However, that's where you would get lost and nobody will ever find you for the rest of your life. But our trail is actually here. And that's how easy it is to get lost. Looks like a lizard. Here's the head. Here's the uh, legs, there's the tail, another set of legs, and they, the legs have three toes. My cap's right there. About two miles. You come up here and you find all kinds of uh, cool stuff. Coyote poop, tons of it. Oh yeah, this is definitely animal haven. These are nice, these will bud. Look at that thing. My camp is somewhere in this direction, and I know the set of rocks. I know what they look like. So I'm just going to kind of navigate in this general direction. No trail, obviously. 
but I'm going to find some washes and I'll just uh, cover the grail easily by uh, walking along washes. I'm going to stop by these rocks and see what's going on. See what the neighbors are doing. No communication, no cell. Oh, I think I've been to this set of rocks before. Once year, that's about four miles. Everything looks close. You don't know. You really don't realize how far you are. That's my cat. And that is approximately right there. It is a path. The ancient wash. to a main wash that I found years ago that I like to take because it's, it doesn't uh, impact the, uh, the desert. And we're five miles from my car. Look at how many animal prints through here. Another mylar balloon. This is where they come to uh, die. So, stop buying them. Sit nicely in there. So I should be able to do this. Put some butter. Uh, green pepper, red pepper, onions, cilantro. You don't want to get this on too hot. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's an unbelievable look. Of cheese, vegetables, butter, and gluten-free. That is some mighty fine eating. Another beautiful morning here at Camp Kolsky. Just relaxing before I head out. Apple, some nuts, hot chocolate. Everything looks good. Okay, now I'm out of here. That mound is about 16 miles away, but It will lead me to a perpendicular path across the desert. 
so now it's a leisurely three mile walk or so to the car. Time to put on some headphones and cruise. So far, so good. 